On this episode, we are building up a Stearman lower wing wing walk. Here we are, this is Stearman lower wing. This is the structure that the wing walk plywood would be uh, nailed down to. And you've, I have supplied two pieces of uh, plywood for the wing walk. We have a curved front piece that goes around the leading edge. We have a mahogany uh, secondary piece that trails on the wing walk. So we're going to discuss how to get them on the wing. We supply two pieces of plywood in our kit for the construction of the wing walk. They will need to be scarfed and joined together on the wing walk structure. A little practice might be in order to get this scarf. Uh, it's a little tricky but very doable. What I do is I put a plank down on a hard surface. I attach it. I take a practice piece of plywood. I kind of tie it down with little nails. Then I'll pass the air grinder, a 7 inch grinder, 40 grit, across the plywood end, back and forth, all the way off, as flat as you can get it. And pretty soon the laminates will start revealing themselves. And the trick is keep these laminate lines straight. If you do that, you're getting a good scarf. If the laminate lines wobble a lot, the scarf isn't acceptable. So back and forth, flat, kind of pitching it in areas that might need it. Uh, throttling the air sander or the uh, grinder until you have nice straight lines. There will be a line given to you on the plywood as you receive it from us and you go back to that line. Uh, now we'll go through the various steps necessary to have a nice structure for the plywood to lay on. The two outboard step ribs are now in place following the lines that are on the spars. They're uh, permanently tied down. Uh, there's a notch in the leading edge of the leading the stringer here that the plywood will drop into, be received, it will nest in there. This is going to go down like that. Then there into in order to put a scarf at this location, I've added uh, a one inch by three quarter inch blocks between the ribs so that I have something to attach the scarf to. As we continue back, the root rib is not in position until all of these intercostals or step supports are in place. They position the root rib. The center step rib is notched so that the intercostal drops down into it. It's important that the center rib be in alignment with this notch on um, this tapered trailing edge piece. After there are support blocks on the top of the rear spar, support blocks on top of the front spar. These blocks are provided. After the blocks are in place, the intercostals are in place, and the trailing edge step is in place, we need to fair grind and fair the whole structure. And we do that by a nice straight edge that we run down and sand down high spots. And then if you have a low spot, you can fill it with some 16th inch plywood and then grind that back down so that it fares nicely. But the whole plan is to have a nice flat fared surface that the plywood can come down and rest on. The next step are to lay the lines down on the plywood from which we will nail into the step ribs. So what you do is uh, come up here, measure the center uh, of this center rib and make a note the distance. Then bring your tape measure all the way over. Find the center of this boxed rib, root rib, and make a note of that distance. Then we come down to uh, the end of the structure. We note that it's the same as the front, uh, in the center, and on the boxed rib and then we lay those distances on the step plywood and then scribe a straight line. We have the marks here, we have the marks here, and we've scribed two straight lines. We uh, do the same 
on the center piece, a straight line. These will be the lines that we will nail down. And then one other thing, while you have the step plywood still off the structure, is to uh, make a, a mark where each intercostal uh, meets the rib. Uh, once the step is on, we need to find these and nail down to them also. So we make this mark uh, at each intercostal. And I'll make a mark right here where this ends. So now we have a we will have a pattern that allows us to lay this plywood down and then nail it starting at the, the leading edge. We, we come here and we'll tie the leading edge down to its notch on the the uh, leading edge stringer and then we will nail it down and then we will bring the main step over and uh, lay that on the lay that scarfed edge on the plywood and we will start nailing it down so the next operation will be gluing the structure and starting to apply the plywood We've uh, clamped a 2x4 into position on the outside of the outboard rib. This is just a guide for laying down the wing walk as when we fasten the front of it up here we want to be able for it to come down and lay right on top of the step and not be sitting on it crooked. <laughs> So what we're doing is just making sure there's going to be lots of squeeze glue. So we kind of got a pattern here by laying the piece down on the pre-glued structure. And now I'm going to follow these lines that uh, hint where the structure is and apply some more glue. I want lots of squeeze on this. And we'll freshen up the glue surfaces with more glue. The wood quickly absorbs a lot of this glue, so we want it nice and liquid when the plywood comes down on it. We'd like uh, the plywood to come all the way back to about 21 and a half, 21 and 5 eighths. So that'll be a mark. So the uh, scarfs are laying to each other now. We're about 21 and a half inches off from the rear face of the rear spar to the end of the step. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, I've got a nailing strip here that I'm going to use to tie this scarf down. and. Um, where our step is aligned with the vertical 2x4 or square. So what I'm going to do now is just tie this down and okay. this uh, nailing strip comes off it after the glue is set.
good. Okay. So the plywood now is uh, oriented, it's tacked down, and what we're going to do is just move forward and move back with our stapling, our nailing, and that will tend to bring the plywood down and, and get it all tight to the glue joint. Right, it's all nailed down and glued. Lots of good uh, squeeze on the glue. Uh, nail heads are sticking up after the glue is cured overnight. We'll come back with a sander. We'll sand all the nail heads, make sure everything's smooth. We'll radius the edge of the plywood around the step. We'll get rid of these uh, nailing strips. Um, so that provides us with a nice super strong finished wing walk. Hey, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We're planning some uh, how-to features in the future. Thanks for watching the Big Sky Steerman Show.